Your dad here from mcloudgaming.com and I'm going to show you how to get tilt and smash support in Super Smash Flash 2. So the first thing you want to do is go to xpatter.com, click on download, and choose whatever language you'd like to download it in. Um, xpatter is 10 bucks to get, it's a pay to get program, but um, if you want tilt and smash support then this is the best program to get. You can use Joy to Key, which uh, works pretty well for mapping buttons, um, but if you want uh, really good analog support, this is definitely the program to get. So after you, ha after you have XPatter, then you'll want to go ahead and open that up wherever you downloaded it from. It's a really light program, 1.12 megs in size. Uh, but it doesn't install anything anywhere, you just run it from the directory. And then you just click start through all these prompts, just disclaimer stuff. Um, this is where your directory will be for all the scripts that you save and create. Um, program location is fine for me and uh, go ahead and associate because all the files are only recognizable by XPatter anyway. So you'll see that I have four boxes up here. Me, you, may only, you may only have one or two. Um, if you have the Mayflash adapter, you'll have two. Um, each square represents a controller plugged in. Uh, so I have four plugged in. So um, I'm pretty sure this is the one that I want. So we'll go ahead and click this little icon and click open. And this is where our controller picture will be. So let's go ahead and go down. Let's see, I'll be in controller picks, GameCube controller, and there it is. And we look around the controller. Alright, so this is this is my controller. Alright, so this is the layout. And then you'll want to open the actual key bindings. So go to open over here. Go back to my desktop. And uh, you'll be in scripts. Okay, see so this is the file that you uh, that that is. Yeah, I stutter a lot, my bad. <laughs> Alright, so uh, GC controller 1, 2, 3, and 4, uh, this correlates to which player you would like it to be set for. Let's go ahead and do player 1, and the key bindings are set. So you'll see uh, on my controller over here sometimes it's red. That means that the key is being pressed down, but it's not being pressed down enough to the dead zone point, which should be set at 25%. This is so that way in case you accidentally touch it or your GameCube controller has really sensitive shoulder buttons, that it doesn't automatically shield. And as you can see, my GameCube controller, the right shoulder button has that little bit of give right there. Uh, it impresses at 2% sometimes. So I make sure to give it enough dead zone. So uh, stock is 25%, but you can adjust that however you want by clicking on this little wrench tool. So um, that's already set. The next thing you want to do is open up SSF2. And you'll go to data and import. And then this is where you'll use that other file. You'll click on import and then you'll navigate to wherever it is you downloaded that, import the data, and then you'll have all your controls preset for every player. Um, tap jump is automatically on, so if your preference is to turn that off, you can turn that off. Uh, double tap, uh, make sure you leave that on. This is the only way that the script can work. So, Choose your character. Um, that's Mario. pretty much it. I, mean, I can show you right here, obviously you can't see my hands, and I can't physically show you that I'm only tilting right now, but uh, if you have X-Batter, then you're more than willing to try it out for yourself. It works really nicely. Um, all the people in the Smash use this script, um, so I hope you guys like it as, as much as we do. So that's pretty much it. Thanks.